Hey, welcome to the fifth part of the Firebase Authentication Tutorial series. In this video, you will learn how to make users authenticate your app using their Facebook accounts. First off, make sure you have the necessary links in the HTML file. Then, if you downloaded the project files from GitHub, you have to link them to the project you have created on the Firebase console using the Firebase use command. Ok, let's go to the sign in method tab and enable the Facebook provider. Now we need to fill in the necessary fields by data which we'll get from the app that we will create on the Facebook developers page. Create app, give it a name, then go to the basic settings tab and copy the app ID and the app secret and paste them in the respective fields on the Firebase console. Then copy the redirect URI, hit save and then go to products tab on your Facebook app page, set up a Facebook login, go to the settings tab and paste the link. That should be enough for now, so let's add the sign in function. It's basically the same process as previously done with Google and Twitter auth providers. Now let's run a test and it works. The test was made with an admin account which is the account that I have created the app with but what if I try to use another account to log in? Error, app not set up, this app is still in development mode, etc. What does that mean is simply that no one has access to my app except me or someone that I give permission to do so. So, to give access to someone possessing another account, 
we need to go to the roles tab and fill in the field with their account's name then they will get a notification of the request which they need to confirm In case you want your app to be accessed by everyone, aka in production mode, you need to provide a privacy policy URL, which we will get from a website called freeprivacypolicy.com. So let's create a privacy policy for our app real quick. To fill the website URL field, we need to deploy our app, so just go to the command line and run the Firebase deploy command, then copy and paste the link. Once done, copy the link and paste it in the respective field on the Facebook app page. Save, then hit the off trigger, and that should be enough to make your app go live. Check the description below for the project files and as always make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next video.